What's that I hear? If I join the Dive Studios community text, I get to send questions and suggestions to the Dive team, and I get updates on new announcements? Unbelievable. I feel so loved. Go to bit.ly backslash dive community or text us at 310-564-1030 to join. This is currently only available to U.S. and Canada numbers. Talk to you soon. Hi guys, welcome back to our show where we get real with our thoughts on all things concerning life. We're your host, PH1. Ashley. And Penilla, B2B. Yes, and there is no guest today. Just yes. us three. Woo! Ooh, the OGs. Yes. And we're all matching. Yeah. Oh, kind yeah, of. kind of. Yeah. Kind of. I mean, we're cute. in the gene area. Mm-hmm. You just kind of color, Still but blue. you know, yeah. All right. <laughs> well, make sure to follow and review the podcast on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts. And if you hate ads, like me, consider like becoming me a member of the Dive Studios Patreon where you can access ad-free episodes. Yes. What, what are you doing, doing Ashley? I'm, trying, I'm just <laughs> making sure my hair looks good. I, it looks yeah. good. Uh, it looks yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Stop looking at it. And you're taking selfies. What do you yeah, mean? This what lighting the fuck? is good. I didn't realize. Oh. <laughs> Making it look like I'm just looking at my hair, you know, and just just my hair, guys. <laughs> How are you guys? Um, I'm doing all right. Yeah. Oh, I went um rounding, golfing. I went on the field. I don't know. Oh, what wow. what you do you t- call it in English? I don't know. Is it just golfing? No, like, like but like not like practice field? golfing. Like just I went on the field. Yeah. For the first Actually time? Actually golfing? I don't know. Outdoors? Yeah, I went like real golfing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> for the first time. What? You've been practicing? You've been… Oh golfing? no. It was for some like yen uh, like shoe. Variety. But um, I mean I learned a little bit mm. in middle school for like maybe like a month. And then I, I quit because I just wanted to play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I got like casted for like this YouTube like variety show. So I was like… Oh shoot, like I don't know how to golf though. But then like the concept is kind of like you're yeah. supposed to suck anyways. But I didn't want to like miss the ball. I wanted yeah. to like at least hit the ball yeah. even though I suck. So I went and I took like two lessons before I actually went. Oh. But um How'd you do? It was fun. Yeah. Do you guys do you guys golf? No, not no. me. You guys know? Any no. plans on golfing? Anybody no. wanna start with me? I wanna start <laughs> golfing now. My dad loves to golf. So the last time I was in New York, he took me to the practice range and mm. It was like okay, but I don't think I could do it for fun. Like oh, it's really? not fun. I only did it for my dad, but right, right, yeah. right, right. It's like such a phenomenon in Korea these yeah, days. Yeah. Everyone's golfing. I yeah. think you guys should start. I think in like spring, there's probably gonna be like a bunch of like varieties, probably like golf based. No, thank you. Okay. I don't <laughs> like doing things when it's like a fad. Yeah, same. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. I I just <laughs> had to do it, but <laughs> it was fun. So I was like, oh. well. Okay. Hey, what about yeah. you, Ashley? How have you been? I've been good. I'm 30 now. Congrats. Welcome to the club. Woo! Yes. Damn, you old. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's soon. For How's you. it yeah, feel? Soon. Um, it felt… I mean, I had such a crazy, incredible, sweet birthday. So, mm. I'm still like on a high crazy, from sweet, my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your I, friends like threw you a birthday party or something? Not a birthday party, but uh, like I was surprised by like my radio staff and mm. uh, my listeners, like my radio listeners and oh, my I family. Saw it. Wasn't that like a huge like flower and thing? My friends, right? Yeah, and like here at the dive studios oh, yeah, too. Oh, yeah, so oh, yeah. I just felt so loved. Mm. But how how does it feel to be actually like thirty? Be thirty? I can't tell yet. I mean, I don't see any difference yet, but yet. Maybe in like a few months or something. Mm. I just feel like oh, I have just to gonna act kick in. <laughs> There's like a buffering period. Maybe. I just feel like I have to act more responsible now. But I, I don't have to, right? Like I'm still young. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I just remember this episode on Friends where Rachel get becomes 30 and she's like she starts crying because she's not married. She doesn't have a boyfriend. Like you know blah blah blah. And like a midlife crisis. Yeah. 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 And Maybe. she realizes that, that turning 30 is not a big deal. Yeah. It's yeah, really not like, a big deal. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Yeah. It's just one year after 29. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. Nothing but a number. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Nothing, Nothing new? Much. Oh my god, I loved your remix. Oh, thank you. God. <laughs> I'm it's, like to, the, it's like the my, hip hop video all over again. Oh, yeah. You gotta do the plie. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that Jamyeon. that person, uh, if you guys don't know it, his name is his name is Kim Sung Jae, and rest in peace. Um, he's one of the like most legendary singers um, ever in Korea, Ooh. and uh, he was super super popular, and he died. Um, but I got to remix one of his hits and. It's a it's a big honor for me. So, yeah, check it out. Yeah, yeah. go check it out. Go check it out. Okay, so we're talking about sh- uh, shower thoughts today, mm. like random mm. shower yeah, thoughts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you guys get those like random thoughts? Like, do you let your mind wander to weird places? I think I definitely used to when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't think I do. Like a lot these days. So what happens in your head like when you're doing mundane tasks? Like showering or… I don't know like doing dishes or something? I don't think I think. <laughs> <laughs> we expected what? this answer. Me oh, and really? Diane. We expected really? this from you. Yeah I don't… I literally just… <laughs> uh, <sighs> man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't think I think. Mm-hmm. What about yeah. you? I don't think about random stuff. I just think about what I should have said or what I could have said or what oh. I should have done. Like in that situation, I just imagine what would have happened if I responded differently. So oh. I think about realistic things, but that's already in the past. So there's no point of thinking about it. But maybe it might be helpful in the future. Um, and I don't think… I don't <laughs> From really, now on. Yeah, I'm gonna- I don't really think abstract thoughts. I just think about… What happened in my life or what will happen in my life with like friends or people around me. But even these days, I don't think in the shower because I take my phone with me in the shower and I watch Netflix while showering. Like it's what? a problem. Oh I yeah. Well, me, too, me too. Oh okay. It's not just me, right? I, I like turn Netflix on for everything. Even when I'm washing the dishes. Like when I'm in the shower. When I'm getting ready Wait, in the morning. how long are your showers? It's only like 15-20 minutes. But I still… I just can't be with my own thoughts by myself. Like I need something to distract me. Wait. So w- what are your MBTIs again? Because… Yeah. Oh, yeah. S, right? E- Something ESTP. S. Yeah. Something ESFP. S. ESFP. Right? Oh, that's… S's right. yeah. don't… Yeah. Right? Wander. N's, N's yeah, wander. That's different. Yeah. S and N. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah. I was going to say. Yeah. And so you guys wander. Yeah. We think about like some weird stuff, you know? Yeah. Like what? I need details. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um… What about like… Okay. Holly. For mm. example. My dog. Like… They right. understand… Human language. Mm. But do they understand… So it's like… If I'm speaking mixed… If I'm speaking to Holly with Korean and English. Mixing it. Mm-hmm. Is she… Does she know that I'm mixing two different languages? Or does she know it as one… One… Like language? Language. And she just understands a few words. Yeah. From she the language. And well. also, for example, like I'm, uh, uh, I'm colorblind, right? Yeah. Like oh, yeah. For yeah, red yeah, and yeah, green. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. What if we're all seeing different colors, but we just call it that color? Like, for example, mm-hmm. you guys call this blue, right? Mm-hmm. Well, let's say Peniel looks at this color a certain way, mm-hmm. and you look at this color a certain way, right? But you, while growing up, you guys, we, we as a, Society decided to call this blue. So you call this blue and you call this blue. But you guys see different colors. Mm. What if? Mm-hmm. Wait, what? That's why people like different how, colors maybe. How does that work? You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. so yeah. confused. So <laughs> let's say you, you, you look at this and… Yeah. You, let's say in your eyes, uh-huh. you see this as like greenish color whatever. Uh-huh. But because the society says this is blue, you call this blue, right? Okay. But it's not actually blue. Let's say Ashley looks at this and in her eyes uh-huh. it's kind of like reddish, right? Uh-huh. But because we call this blue, she call, she still calls this blue. But the colors that you see with your eyes are different, let's say. Do you get this? Okay. Do you do you get it? I'm so I, lost. I know I luckily this mic is on okay, so I can cool. actually record this. This is a actually very common thought people have. Yeah. And this is when people are aware that people live in their own universes. Yeah. But um to explain it a different way. Basically, uh, you know what is red, orange, yellow, right, green, right? right? right, right, right. Let's say you switch to eyes. Uh-huh. And then you realize that Harry's version of those colors are swapped around. 
Oh, okay, that's okay, basically okay, okay. what yeah, he's yeah, saying. Yeah. So oh, how okay. do we know what yeah. if we're what we're all seeing is actually the same thing, or we've just been we someone points at as a thing and just tells you what it is, mm-hmm. but we don't actually know mm-hmm. if it's a true consensus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know After, what? Uh-huh. Yeah, you know what I thought because you mentioned being color not color blind, but um, like, yeah, so I don't know what that is in English, not being able to see certain colors shades, or whatever. Shades. Yeah, shades, but uh, color blind people the trouble they have the most trouble seeing like green and red right yeah, yeah. so why are traffic lights green and red like it should be another color because then yeah. colorblind people can't see it mm. isn't that dangerous but, but i'm not technically like, like color blind i'm I color know. what about, weak. What about color blind, blind people how do they see it so they, they're not allowed to drive yeah yeah oh exactly. really yeah you can't oh, get damn. your license if you're colorblind you can't get certain degrees or licenses oh, wow. if you're bl- colorblind like medical. But you can get it though, yeah. right? Because you're not completely colorblind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I know. I know what is red or green. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's move on to submission. Um, okay. Hi, guys. When I take a shower, I start to think about specific moments from my short life. I'd ask myself, what would have happened if I acted differently? Or what would have happened if I n- never took the metro that day? Or the train? I was walk I was talking with a friend of mine about randomly about randomly meeting this person who is a med student at the metro. And I've thought about this convo during my last shower too. That med student and I ha- had talked for a while until he had to leave first be- uh, because his stop was way before mine. We've been in the same city for the last 6 years and we've never met. We could have met at this specific comedy show but he went in 2020 and I attended the same comedian show just this summer. We didn't even exchange names. We just talked about our student lives and so on. So he's just going to be the med student that I met on the metro on an October afternoon, lol. Well, I think it was just meant to be a brief meeting. Like many other meetings I had and I'll I'll have in my life. Do you ever overthink about these types of moments that happened in your life and kind of comment out loud on it like you were just watching a scene from a show? No? <laughs> Damn. Is this the difference between S and N? Hold on. Do you ever Damn. overthink about these? Hmm. It's like… Like this world is so small. And I realize more and more. And sometimes like… It'll be like brief interactions like this. But maybe later down the road you end up meeting that same person again. And then you can't help but think like… Is there such thing as like destiny? You know? Like are we… Is this fate? Like are we… Hmm. Is this supposed to happen? Because it can't just be a coincidence. But then… I don't know. Is or it? is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you just said the world is so small. Yeah. So basically you're implying that… The chances of meeting that person is high because the world is small. Yeah. But you just said it can't be a coincidence. That's just like… You contradicting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You just I mean, said the, the world, world is so, is so small, small. You can meet that person like, anytime. So it could be a coincidence. It could be a number like percentage-wise, statistically. You could meet that person. Yeah. Damn, he's bringing like, out… Years <laughs> down, like in a completely different country, like what are the chances? Mm. Uh, oh, if you meet that person in a different country. Yeah. Oh, then that… Yeah, that might be… Oh, like you saw them while you were in Korea and then… Like you're traveling. You're like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go vacation. Yeah. Go back home in New York. And then you meet them in New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are the chances? Yeah. Not that high. <laughs> no, but it happens. <laughs> it happens. Has that ever happened to you? Something like that? That made you think, oh, is this fate? No, not necessarily that one. But uh, when I was in a relationship, I found out that he was on an app 10 years ago. And he found my best friend on that app. And they went on like a date for like twice. And then he found out 10 years after only because she was my friend and I started hanging out with her more. Because mm. he didn't think about her for 10 years. And then all of a sudden he heard her name. He was like, wait, this girl sounds familiar. And he saw her picture and he realized that it's a girl that he met on the app 10 years ago. But now she's best friends with me. Uh, so he's like… What, so what, f- happened? what happened? Well… Double date? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, wait. I'm just kidding. I never confronted the friend. I Because I only heard uh, it from my boyfriend. boyfriend. So mm. uh, I didn't know whether to confront her or but not. But did your best friend know about your boyfriend? That's what I'm curious about. 
That's what I'm wondering. Well, she does obviously she know remembers, no? and not is not saying anything, or does, does she genuinely forget? Wait, no, Ten I'm saying years ago. I did your best my... friend ever get to see your boyfriend? Yeah. So she, then she knows. She remembers, obviously. Wait, but it's the someone that you went on a date didn't with. recognize your friend the first time they saw each other. Yeah. No, they they didn't see each other. They only saw pictures. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they know. They well, know. ten years. Did he age badly? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, I was like, damn, how does that happen? Or well, I mean, and maybe it's not like she. It's not like she was in Korea all those years. Like she was always in and out of Korea, and New York, mm. and then like he's not even from. He wasn't even from like Seoul. So, and then they met each other on the app and they met and then 10 years later they met each other again. Well they didn't meet each other but they… Yeah. Mm. Realized that they went on a few dates. Yeah. That's crazy. And maybe the friend was just like oh this is awkward like I don't know how to tell. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And then they were like yeah it's 10 years ago it's nothing. Mm. Maybe. Would no? you confront your friend? I probably would because I don't really… <laughs> I don't be like wait who? Oh sh- Wait a minute. <laughs> I probably… Oh wait, 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 wait. Like if I was in your position? Yeah. Probably. Okay. Sorry to cut you guys off. But That's okay. But it got me thinking like… And… There's something like that I think about in the shower too. Relationships. Uh-huh. Right? Mm-hmm. We as human beings… We start dating somebody, right? Mm-hmm. You know… Boyfriend, girlfriend. But isn't it kind of weird like… Okay, let's say, let's say, me and Diane, we're like friends, right? <laughs> we're friends, but as soon as we declare with words to starting now, you're my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Then that, because of that sentence, now a whole new bond is formed. Like this whole rules, we just made rules between us. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, because we just My said, rules are very simple. People listen to last week's <laughs> well, episode. Basic like me. rules. Yeah. You know, like, you can't Harry's see Harry's rules are very simple. My <laughs> rules is you just have to like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like mine were simple too. Isn't that kind of <laughs> weird? Like… I mean… Like think about like just… Hey, today. Starting today. I mean… That's we're what, exclusive. Uh, and that's that just… What, <laughs> that's what open relationships are then. <laughs> It's mm. pretty much like… Yeah, it's pretty much just like you're dating this person but you can date that person too if you want. It's just, that's what open relationships are. What? No. <laughs> no. That's, what like that's with, not what I'm saying. With that one sentence, you break down the wall and now… Oh, I th- uh, And then you guys… Uh, like yeah. for example… You, ah, it's, I think you were I saying like why are there boundaries? <laughs> because of that sentence, uh-huh. you're now okay and it's not awkward for you guys to kiss. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Isn't yeah. that kind of like weird to think no, about? No, I think it would still be awkward for most people in if the they beginning. transition from friends to yeah. relationship. It is still awkward in the beginning. Yeah. But you still do it and it's okay to do it because now you're like… Yeah. Dating. Whereas no, like but before just you, yesterday… Let's say you didn't say that. Like we're boyfriend or girlfriend. Then it would be awkward. Yeah. But then because you said it, it won't be awkward. Can so you like, imagine kissing someone? They go, awkward. <laughs> I could like fight them. <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of weird. You kiss them and they're like, that was a little awkward. <laughs> <laughs> or no, they don't even say it. They're just like… <laughs> like oh us, awkward us as human beings uh, setting or declaring relationship statuses mm. yes. through words or agreements. I think that's That it can be that powerful yeah, to yeah, actually yeah, yeah, yeah. change a but, d- dynamic. Uh, yeah. For me, I feel like… If it's like friends that be… That like… Because I feel like guys and girls can be just friends. But then really? I, yeah. You think so? Yeah. I but disagree. Then, but I feel like if it's like… They're like, oh like we're friends. But then like they date later. Then I feel like it's like… Oh like one of them probably had feelings for the other. Because like I feel how like… how close of a friend are you talking about? I don't know. How close of a friend are you talking about? <laughs> this is starting to feel like a murder mystery. <laughs> Everyone's like slowly raising their gun at each other. And they're like, how close? <laughs> how close, guys? <laughs> Wait, guys and girls can be friends? Nothing more? Yeah. I don't think they can, I don't be, think best they can be best friends. Friend I think they friend. could be like friend, but that's kind But there's, of- I'm saying, there's always a slim possibility. 
Yeah, like if the world ends and like we're the last two people <laughs> on earth, maybe. Gosh. But it's like, <laughs> it's like it's like are we gonna just stay friends or are we gonna re- revive like human like life? Like <laughs> <laughs> that's then just maybe. functional, mama. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but just, even then, it's like I have no emotion in this. I'm just trying to re- recreate. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to make human life back. Oh like, no, it's, it's very possible to only be friends with like the opposite sex or whatever, I think. Because uh, my girlfriend and I talk about this all the time. It's like when guys like a girl, it's so obvious. Mm-hmm. It's very clear. They're very few times are they aloof about it. Yeah. And so if it if they don't act like they like you, they don't like you. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then a girl is probably kind of similar in the sense of like… Well he shows no interest in me so why would I have interest in him? So then it's mm. just very neutral ground. Yeah. But you you but don't I'm think just... guys and girls can be friends? N- not close friends. <gasps> Damn. I thought we were pretty close. Uh- <laughs> 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 uh- <laughs> I mean like… The best… F- <laughs> <laughs> Both on you uh- now. Damn. I thought we were close. <laughs> so I mean like best friends. Yeah. There's always yeah. possibility for me. Yeah. Yeah, like if the world's about to end. <laughs> <laughs> okay, follow <laughs> conversation into this. Are you open to just randomly chatting with strangers like this? Do you think you're generally approachable? What about when you go traveling to a new place? Are you inclined to wanting to meet locals? Yes. Really? Yeah. Not me. Y- yes really? And, yes yeah, and me. no. I feel no. like you would love having like random conversations. Oh, no, no. I Hell feel no. like he'll like having random conversations with people he's close with. Uh-huh. Yeah. But not like new people that he… No. Knew. Yeah. I can't. Whoa. I can't. I just like hearing about new like experiences. Like what they went through maybe. Or what they have to offer about the new country or on their life. So I just like listening. Right. I don't really like talking. Like I just like listening to them Back to MBTI. Speak. Your I right? Yeah. What In are you? Your E. E right? Yeah. That's why. Your I too. I'm E. Oh shoot. Damn. But I'm like… Um, I used to be like 80-90% E. Mm-hmm. Uh. And like, but recently like uh, the E got a little smaller and the I got a little bigger. Yeah. yeah. But it's still like 70-30. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Something like that. So hold on. So if like a random person walked up to you at a bar and be like… Hey are you just like visiting like around? Mm. Are you from mm-hmm. here? Mm-hmm. Like… Are they creepy or no? No, no just no, like just that. Like, like that person. tone is like they're that's like, like friendly. They're oh, really... like I haven't seen you around here. Like, do you like? Are you just visiting or are you like in yeah, town? Talk. Are you excited by this like encounter? Sudden moment. Well, it depends on how I'm looking that day and how I'm <laughs> feeling. You know. Okay. Well, it's someone who looks God like damn. me, so no pressure. <laughs> it's no pressure. <laughs> no, I would love. I would love that. Really? Yeah. really? yeah. For me, I think it's like. I probably wouldn't be the person to go up and be like, Oh, I haven't seen you around here. Like, But like if someone approached me… Mm. I don't know if I get like excited. Like, oh my gosh. Yes. New conversation. <laughs> mm-hmm. But like… I wouldn't be like afraid to have a conversation with them. I don't… It's Yeah. I'm not afraid. I'm more like inconvenienced. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Do you… I don't yeah, know. Me too. Is, that, is that the feeling? Yeah. And, and I… In my head, I'm questioning like… Okay. What is the intention here? <laughs> So why are you talking to me? Mm. Like do you want something from me? Mm-hmm. You know Friendship? what I'm saying? What if they're being… Damn bo- who hurt you? just bored? <laughs> yeah. But it's like… Th- I don't know. For me like I don't talk to people for entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> like, why does it I, sound I, so, so sorry. weird? Let me rephrase. I don't talk to strangers for, for my entertainment. Mm. Like it's not interesting to me. Yeah. I mean I would never approach someone. But if I… If someone approached me and they were not creepy. Like they were just kind. Yeah. Uh, I would appreciate it. Yeah. 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 And like if if I was not enjoying the conversation, I would just cut it short and yeah. be like, oh, I have to go. But yeah. if not, but I'm like, always open down. to be. <laughs> I'm always open to be like pleasantly surprised. You know, when someone talks to me, it's not like I get all defensive and like I run away. Mm. I'll no, have a conversation, off, but <laughs> in the in the first place, like the first response is like, okay, so like who is this? Why, why is this person talking to me? But uh, if the conversation is going well, then I you know I engage and. Have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people I, do yeah. that a lot in the states. Just they just like yeah. talk to mm-hmm. you. In Korea, it's kind of like yeah. They're it like, where are you really talking happen. to me? Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I do think small talk is awkward, but it's like whatever. Like, mm. like you know, like on planes and stuff. Mm. This is like when the person like next to you, like you don't know them at all, and they're just like, 
Okay, I don't want that. Yeah, because like, so, you're so, stuck with them for like yeah. fourteen it's hours. Like, what's the? Uh, you know what's awkward you when you're stuck America? with them for <laughs> like fourteen hours, and you start talking for a little bit, and then you have to end the conversation, and it's just silence. But you guys are like still right, next, next to, to each, each other. other. <laughs> oh, really? So you pretend well, to like read in. something or like listen. <laughs> yeah, that's awkward. Yeah. I mean, I guess. But I mean, like for me, I'm just like, I'll talk, and then like when they stop, I'm like, oh, like getting a little bit of the awkward vibes. Music. The so pineal is like a an outlier in almost every situation. <laughs> like you're just so different. You're built know. different, man. <laughs> I'm a robot, guys. <laughs> I feel like looking through your eyes, everything would be like 2020 vision, yeah. eight, like HD red yeah. camera, like okay. so clear. There's no yeah. like gray areas. No, you know, it's this or that, like, black and white. No, my yeah. friend sent me like this post, and it was like, it's like, like. Reasons why MBTIs would cry, mm-hmm. like certain MB, and then mine was from cutting onions. <laughs> <laughs> Literally cutting onions. <laughs> oh my no god! No emotion. You're a robot. I, I don't cry unless I'm like cutting onions. I'm like, oh. You're <laughs> like, what is this uh, sensation? Yeah, I'm like, why Am are, I dying? I'm like, why is my <laughs> eye running? <laughs> oh my god. Sorry for the interruption. We'd like to talk about our sponsor, Better Help. If you don't know about it already, BetterHelp is an alternative option to in-person counseling. You can do it from pretty much anywhere as long as you have a connection via computer or phone. Within just 48 hours of registering, they will match you with a professional to speak about your issues. There are different counselors that specialize to suit your specific needs, whether it's depression, relationship problems, or LGBT-related matters. There's an entire list of what they offer that you can check on their website. There are also opportunities for financial aid for those qualified. I love services such as BetterHelp that are there to help make mental health care more accessible. Seeking professional help is healthy and can really make a difference. So if you feel like you need support and guide you through life's problems, I really suggest checking out BetterHelp as a potential option. I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash getreal10. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's better help.com slash get real 10. We're about midway through the podcast, so let's take a quick breather. Today, we're going to ponder some million dollar ideas. A lot of great ideas were born out of something or someone doing an everyday task, such as showering and coming up with something extraordinary. Hmm. Put your Shark Tank thinking caps on and see if you'd want to hypothetically invest in the following ideas from people online. TikTok user Louis er- Ergel-, Ergel pitched an outdoor restaurant with a telescope in the center of every table so that you can get to see the stars on a romantic dinner. The restaurant would be called Dining with the Stars. I oh. love that. I want to go. <laughs> Well, the okay. restaurant can How only many? be open for so many hours. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Yeah. On a clear sky, sky like it's clear night. Be broad daylight, you, the sun, it's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but this is kind of kind of nice. No, maybe maybe make it like a bar lounge then, so it's like more fit for night. You know, on a more realistic note, though, think about actually going here. Think about actually sitting at this table, right? You and your partner. Oh, this is so romantic, and you look through the telescope, right? For the next 5-10 seconds, it's like romantic. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm and saying. And then after that, it's like, okay. How fast yeah. are you going to be? And, and it's like a small small thing too. Yeah. yeah. No, what if it's like an actual big telescope? Like the like like Hubble telescope? Well. <laughs> that would be too expensive. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, too expensive. Yeah. If it's just like I mean, a small telescope, I don't want it. I want to see the galaxy. Unless it's expensive, I don't want… <laughs> so you want to dine like, I don't want to see one NASA. star. I want to see the full… <laughs> Milky Way through this shit. Yeah. I, I don't think I'm gonna invest. Mm. Yeah. Because it's like… And it's like… Unrealistic. How, how often… It's like… This is kind of like a one-time thing too. It's like… Oh like we saw the stars once. It's like… Yeah. You look up again. It's like… Oh it's stars again. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, well. It might have hype for like the first one or two years. Yeah, like, but I Like you said. The that. time time slot. Like… You can yeah. only go at night time. Um… Yeah. Anyways. We'll pass. <laughs> pass. No, I wouldn't. Sorry. Okay. Uh, TikTok mm-hmm. user It's Blanco pitched microwaves but with a mute button. 
so that when you're making food late at night, you don't have to worry about waking up your family with loud beeping when it when it makes the the food. Um, Is this not a thing already? Yeah, why don't they have this? I mean, I feel like they have no, this but it, wait, what? Don't like so, it doesn't make the beep. beep so are oh, you saying like it's an it's optional done. thing? Yeah. Right? Like night mode. Night mode. <laughs> yeah. Like your phone. Do not disturb mode. Oh. They should, should make be. that. I would invest this, but right. it wouldn't be too hard to make this though. You I, know what I mean? Don't they already have it? They I might. don't know. Maybe. I've never heard of it. it. Maybe. Or we've it's never like, heard of it because it's so quiet. It's connected to <laughs> yeah. your. It's connected it's like to your phone right. through Bluetooth. And it like okay, that's lets your like your phone vibrate. It's unnecessary. Yeah, I mean, high tech. <laughs> well, high tech, yeah. but you would still have to physically go there and put put it in anyway. So why not just press the button? So you're gonna press the food and then go back to it and then press like. 30 well, I mean, seconds. are you gonna wait there for like three minutes? No, you press it. You go do your thing. You pee or whatever, and then you come back. You when pee it's for done. three minutes. Damn. <laughs> well, no, but yeah. Um, yeah, this, I don't know. Is, this is pretty useful though. Yeah, yeah I, I feel think like it's I, necessary. I thought there was already microwaves and mute buttons. I just Maybe. haven't used one in a while. But and you know, you know what though? The the doors, the microwave mm, doors yeah. are so, <laughs> so, so, so much freaking noise. so loud. And when you close it, yeah, cooking. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like open, <laughs> close. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Twitter user men wear pink pitched. Uh, if someone from Ziploc would please contact literally anyone in the cereal business, that'd be great. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, this. Because oh. cereal. Oh, yeah. Why not? Why don't they have that? Maybe because it's too expensive. I don't know. Oh, maybe. Maybe there's a government lobby. <laughs> oh, shoot, maybe. maybe it's just because cereal people want you to keep buying the cereal for oh, money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a maybe. government lobby. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Because yeah. they're like, if we put Ziploc, true, then it's not going to go stale as fast. Sometimes yeah. I keep my cereal in the fridge. I mean, the freezer. What? Oh, freezer. What? Why? It got weirder. Oh, <laughs> uh, to, to keep <laughs> yeah. it from going I was stale? Like, I was like, what? Yeah. yeah, wait, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, hold on. Mm. What? Yeah. Do you guys like your cereals like dry? I, I mean, uh, crunchy or soggy? Crunchy. Crunchy. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's why… <laughs> it's like you guys That's all why passed. you put the passed. milk in second. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, some people like soggy… Soggy… Yeah, yeah. they do. Uh, cereals. Oh. Do you? I, Diane, I don't, do you? I don't no. okay, I don't cool. mind if it's like mixed. You know, there's some crunchy yeah, yeah. in there, but yeah. there's gotta be a little crunchy in there. Let's mm. start a rumor. Eric Nam loves soggy cereal. Ew. Tag him about it. That's not a rumor. Nam. You didn't know about that? <laughs> 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 Twitter user Pamela Blair pitched someone should sell holiday living room decoration boxes. There would be different styles and set sizes. They'd include candles, accessories, wall hangings, pillows, shelf items, runners, window decor. Once Seven. again, this is it. probably just so every they, company… They probably could. have this, no? So Wait, the what? decoration boxes have like the pillows on it? So basically, you you only need to buy one box and you're set for like all these different decorations. Yeah, so it'll be like Christmas oh. box. Yeah. Oh. But like the thing is, kit. it's like… Start a kit. Whatever. so many mm. different size furnitures and sh- It's like… The company's making these… What are you… Money. What what furniture are you ordering for Christmas? Oh no, isn't the it The Christmas like, couch? <laughs> Isn't it like uh um, But this is something that oh, I would definitely mind. invest invest on though. What? Why? You can you can pick and choose what you need and then put it in a cart and then and then our company what if could you can't like choose? But that's just online shopping. Well, that's your responsibility. <laughs> if you can't choose, <laughs> Thank you, you can't honey enjoy bird. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> that's just online shopping. But it's all the yeah. idea is that it's all in one place. Yeah. It's all in like it's one order so that on you don't the, have to it. look and search. Yeah, so it's all already everything. in the box. So you just yeah. buy like the and Christmas then box. I'll you know, you know, have uh, celebrity endorsements and then have them be like, for example, Ashley, hi, this is Ashley, and the, these are my favorite, mm. like, yeah, like the Ashley. This is Christmas Ashley's set, set. Oh, yeah, Peniel's I- set, oh. Harry set, yeah. But it's not a bad idea, though. Yeah, not it's bad, cool. I guess. Twitter user President Seely pitched a stackable washer and dryer where the washer is on top and when the clothes are done washing, the bottom opens <gasps> up and, the, and drops Yo, the clothes. I thought right. about this. I thought about this. You thought about it? I've thought about are this you before. User? Million this dollar idea. I've thought, oh my god. I forgot. No, this yeah. is crazy, man. I've thought about this because in Korea, oh, they sometimes… Have they have it? They have wait, this? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, no. Sometimes like you just see them like stacking like their washing machine and like the drying yeah, machine. Yeah, they have it. Mm. So then when I saw that, I was just like… How convenient would it be if it just finishes and just… Dunk, 
And then it just starts drying. Wow, so right? Like cool. the, the division. Yeah, like there's in the like middle, a like thing in the middle. But then, but then I was like, oh wait. Like where would the water… Like, well, they would have to figure it out. Like in the back. <laughs> like a little… That's their job. That's for their smart yeah. people to figure yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Yo, no. <laughs> so so the water it would drain first from like a back pipe. Yeah. And after the water drains, that's what they yeah. do though. That's what they do. Yeah, 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 yeah. The washers do. I mean, they have like the because they have the tarsu yeah, like that's um, thing anyways, right? Yeah. So and after that, after tarsus one time just and then after it's done drying, it automatically hangs it. it. <laughs> 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 the clothes slide oh, yeah. out onto your body <laughs> yeah. as you leave the house. Sliding yeah. out, it just teleports onto your body. <laughs> this is the enthusiasm of 30 something year olds hearing yeah. so about lazy. washer dryer combo. So lazy. No, oh, but, but I so have cool. thought of this. I, I was like, yo, this is actually cool. pretty nice. Mm-hmm. But it would be huge as hell, dude. Why? Yeah, no, I mean, just regular. Just, just make it so what it is is that you would connect it through wires so that there's a trigger so that it knows when the water cycle. Oh, no, up. I meant like this would be like the. I no, like it, it would be, be the same, oh, size same size as any typical stackable dryer. So it's only that one flooring of the washer or mm. ceiling know, of the but dryer. Those are huge. Yeah, but if people already have that size mm-hmm. in, it's oh, just right. a matter of replacing it, right? But I feel like I feel like most places have it like side by side though, not like stacked. Mm. Well, but they have it. Change. They sell it as like a set now. Mm. You know. And it's all this. like Bluetooth connected. Yeah. It tells what? you if you're outside, like all oh, your oh, yeah. thing is done, so you yeah. get you go home. Or you what? can like set like a timer on that. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <gasps> wow. Mm-hmm. Technology. Yo, or or what if there's smart. one for like side by side too, and then when it finishes, the bottom panel just, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just sends it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you guys have dryers at home? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. I do. You do? Damn, Can't live rich. without it anymore. Really? Yeah. So I, you find me at your door with a bag of laundry. Yeah. Don't say <laughs> anything. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to my house. The door's going to be open. I'm going to be like, all right. Come out. Who am I fighting? Who am I fighting? Dying? Just like, Sting I'm just the doing the laundry. <laughs> so, so you hang your clothes, right? Yeah. Me too. I, I hate that I part. hate that. You know, yeah. the worst. But I heard dryers do like ruin your clothes. It like know, shrinks your clothes. Still. And stuff. But I'm like, I don't so give good. a f- I'm wearing f***ing comfy. Cool. It dries in one day. It doesn't take like three days to dry your clothes. And it doesn't smell. Sometimes like in the summer, if you dry it wrong, it smells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to have the AC on if you want it to like dry mm. properly and stuff. Yeah, I get like the dryer sheet and sh- Yeah, I love it when it comes out so fresh and warm. Do you guys have some ideas for like products or like something like this? Million dollar? Man, I've had a bunch but I don't remember any anymore. Um, yeah, you got to write write them down. Have you yeah. ever accidentally invented something that already exists? You're like, oh, it would be so great. And then you realize you're describing a very common thing. <laughs> uh, are there… Oh, yeah. I remember… I, are there flushable diapers? Like baby, <laughs> baby diapers? Keep yeah. going. But Keep going. <laughs> flushable diapers. But you don't change a baby's diapers Why in do the you bathroom. Have, do you have a baby? No, I just, I just remember… Um, because my sister and brother-in-law… But I remember they always like… Just like throw it away and like… Mm. And then like… They have like the scented diapers and sh- But I'm just like… How convenient would it be if you could just… After the baby pisses or takes a sh- mm. In the diaper, you just… In the toilet. Mm. You can't You can't even put toilet paper in toilets here. So I don't know yeah. if he can… Oh, yeah. But I mean… Yeah. I thought about it in the States though. So mm. There's a shredder… <laughs> I don't like know. Or like no, like you know like the um it like once it like um gets like not like too wet because of piss obviously, but like once it get like a gets like a certain amount of wet, it kind of becomes like softer, like tissue material or something. What I think is a great idea is like tender. Well, I out. bad news. I know it it's, out, it's out, it's been out, <laughs> but I'm saying when it first came out, I was like, this is a great idea. Yeah, because yeah. you you get rid of all the, you know, unnecessary like finding out what they what their values are like what they're looking for. You just go straight into because you already know if you're matched right on Tinder. That already means you know what their values are, what they're looking. I don't for. think you've ever used Tinder based on how you're describing it. <laughs> okay, uh, coffee meets bagel or stuff like that. You know, dating yeah. dating apps. Yeah, yeah. Wait, Very there's smart. a dating app called Coffee Meets yeah. Bagel? And I actually Made have a lot Korean. of friends that, that oh, got married when you know yeah. they met their partners on that app. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very smart. Hmm. Yeah. 
Mm. Smart idea. Smart idea. Not smart my idea. preferred way of meeting someone, but yeah, I think it's in general it's hard to meet someone these days. So I understand mm. why it's yeah. popular. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. all keys should have a GPS in it. Because <laughs> you always lose your keys. <laughs> yeah, like car keys. Yeah, Whenever that's like I'm, a thing. You can get like attachable. Yeah, thing. no, but like just have Air them in it. Just have it in the thing. So whenever you buy the key, you like connect it to like your phone or something like AirPods, you know? Yeah. And whenever you lose it, like your phone, like the find my, like find my key. It's like, do, 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 I'm always like leaving my house. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to head out mm. after I can find my keys. Like, hold on. I feel like soon we're not even gonna need keys. Like, yeah, maybe. Not even gonna. Gonna be like mm-hmm. face recognition keys. to start the car or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or like fingerprint or something. Yeah. Yo, you know what? Uh, Facebook is making Facebook oh, now is Meta, Meta right? Yeah, Did dude. you see the glove? Did you see, who saw the video? They're they're creating oh, a glove yeah, yeah, yeah. that has like air bubbles like attached to it, so like it'll blow up and shrink Mm -hmm. to make you make your hand feel certain things right oh like the pressure a lot of yeah a lot of bubbles so you're wearing your vr and inside the vr inside of your metaverse let's say you're like touching a a a a ball right yeah you can actually feel it on your hand because of the glove that you're wearing yeah like the bubbles like on the inside you're just going like this in the air but because you're touching something an object in the in the metaverse change your hand gesture (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh, you feel it. You know how you hold the ball. <laughs> you know when you hold, yeah, the balls. Yeah, yeah, and like, yeah, you feel it. You can feel it. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the only thing that divided or distinguished reality from meta is tactile functions, like us actually feeling, right? Because we mm-hmm. could still or or smelling. But we could still see and hear in the metaverse too. So if people figure out the, a way to smell and touch, which they're developing right now, then now what is gonna be the reality? Where's the line now? And um, are we gonna ever? Is there gonna gonna be a time where the reality switches into metaverse and now meta is the main like plane ready, like or ready play realm one. of life and reality? Us reality, physical world is like the, like the break from rea- reality, the metaverse, like Ready Player so, One, or Matrix, or Matrix. Yeah, I'm gonna die before so that. So do you happens. think? <laughs> no. Do you think Matrix is gonna it. happen? I. It could happen, man. It could. I mean, the way the world's going right now, you know, like everything's going extinct and. Sh- we're running out of like all our resources and Why stuff. Why can't we just keep like And it simple. feels wrong. It feels wrong. But is it wrong? I mean… To migrate into a digital world? I feel like it might be better than going to Mars and trying to start a life there. Apparently, we're supposed to be able to live on Mars by 2028. Or like a human supposed to be able to be on Mars according to oh Elon God. Musk. Did you know that Dive Studios has a Discord server? Join now and meet new friends, submit questions to the podcast, and get exclusive access to events and giveaways. Go to bit.ly backslash join Dive Discord to join. We will be lurking in the best way possible. Oh, here are some... Of my shower thoughts. Do celebrities really put their real birth dates and height? <laughs> I've been thinking about <laughs> whether they could put fake birthdays so they can celebrate their their actual one with their families. <laughs> um, I don't know about like this reason if it's like for like celebrating with their family, but I know some Korean celebrities because it's like age is kind of very like taboo in like the entertainment industry here. I know a lot of them fake their birthdays, so it seems like they're like younger, younger or something. Yeah, <gasps> yeah. So like they, yeah, they fake do. their birth year. They do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do. Oh, the birth year. Like the date will be correct, but then they'll fake like, yeah, their birth year. year. Yeah. And yeah. height. Everybody I know fakes a lot height. Of, yeah. <laughs> Everybody adds like three centimeters, yeah, yeah, three to yeah. five centimeters. Yeah. Even weight. You know. Yeah. You're like, why? Why does that twenty year old have back problems? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, it's like. Hmm. <laughs> it, it'll be sweet if they actually changed it just to celebrate their actual one with, with their families. But no, mm. most of the time they don't. Yeah. And I feel like netizens will find out. Mm-hmm. They, they will. find yeah, out. Yeah. They know everything. Uh-huh. 
Scary. What if someday when the world comes to an end or when you are about to die, suddenly you realize that that it, you can just reset your life all over again? Would you do it? No. Yeah, me neither. I'm tired. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm barely making it through the first one. You want me to do a start over? That's like your whole paper (laughs) getting erased because your computer crashes. But what if… Okay, what if then you get to reset… Set and start all over with the knowledge that you have right now. Wait, but if the that's world's even coming, worse. To that's worse. <laughs> Wait, that's if the worse. world's coming to an end and you only restart your life, you're gonna become a baby, and then the world's just gonna or, end. Or, or let's say you're about to die, not the world ending. Nah, man, I'm good. If with I'm the same, about to die, to the same family, even. If it, if I was like maybe like <laughs> like early twenties, and I'm like, oh, I can restart, like maybe. But if it's like I'm about to die and I'm like, uh, yeah. then I'm like, then I'm like, Fuck that. like <laughs> let me die. Yeah. Like, at like, that paying off that mortgage was so fun. I want to do it again. I want to do it again. <laughs> let me get that college yeah. debt one time. Like, <laughs> it's not worth it. Yeah, it's yeah. like 2019 New Year's Eve, and you're just like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, sh- not this yeah. again. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope wait, you guys- wait, wait, wait. I, I want this question. Oh, right, right, oh, right, right, right. Very, very quickly. What does my dog think about me? <laughs> Am I cool to him or does he think I'm just plain weird? Does he even know my name? <laughs> oh, I think you're weird. Holly definitely doesn't know my name. Um, no, isn't there isn't there that like Instagram or like um uh what do you call it? Um TikTok? TikTok. Oh my fuck. god. Damn. He's not gonna I'm make it meta. Boomer, yeah. <laughs> that that uh, but yeah, isn't there like the Instagram or TikTok or Reels challenge or whatever where they're like they tell their dog like their real name? It's like, hi, my name is like Harry. And then they see the dog's reaction? No, I, I've never seen that. Really? How did the but dogs how, react? How would my dog know my name? It's not like I call myself Harry at home. I know. If somebody were like, go to Harry. Go to Harry. Nah. We should test it. And he'd be like, um… Yeah. Who the f*** is that? I'm a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> and also dogs… Dog… You know Holly, she she recognizes her name. Dogs they recognize yeah, their yeah, names, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 Do dogs recognize their names because it's they know that it's their name, or do they just know the sound? They just know the sound. But okay, <laughs> I actually, talk to cool, the dogs cool. earlier. Understandable. <laughs> now, now, listen, listen, listen to this. No, but you could change. Isn't the that name. the same thing for us? You know, your name is Ashley because that's not because that you know that's your name. You know because Ashley, the sound is your name. Mm-hmm. Holly. Go to Harry! <laughs> Holly! Go to Harry! Go to Harry! Go to Harry! Holly! Yeah. Oh no. She yeah. doesn't no. care. No, she does know. And this is mushing. Like, this is her ignoring you. Okay. Anyways. Well, um. Okay. Well, <laughs> we talked about a bunch of random stuff today. Yeah. Hope you guys understood half of the things that were said here. I want to have another episode of this. Yeah. Yeah. Random yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll do a part two sometime soon. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to become a scuba diver? No? Me neither. But hop on over to our Patreon and become a diver to receive exclusive benefits like early and ad-free access to audio episodes, monthly live streams with the founders of Dive Studios, and so much more. These episodes are made possible by our divers, so thank you for keeping us going. Join us at patreon.com backslash dive studios. Thank you. Uh, if you wish to watch the full video version of this episode for free, uh, you can watch it on youtube.com slash divepods mm-hmm. or youtube.com slash… Oh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, youtube.com slash divepods. And once again, follow and review this podcast. Thank you guys for watching and listening. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. Bye. Hey guys, did you enjoy this video? Make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell. So you don't miss another video.